Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. This week, we're talking woodpeckers. I mean, you start hearing a lot of woodpeckers this time of year in the spring, and it's always kind of made me wonder, they're pounding away at the trees, how come they don't get headaches? So I did a little research and found out some really interesting information about what's going on when those woodpeckers are pounding on the trees. When you look at a woodpecker, you notice that long bill, that long beak that they have. And they're using it for a couple of different reasons. They're going to pound into the trees in order to find food. They might be looking for ants. They might be looking for grubs, larvae. And if there's something like the sap suckers, they pound holes in the trees so the sap will come out that they can drink. But then that sap attracts little insects, which they'll come back and eat later on. They're using that bill to pound into the wood in order to remove it to make a nesting site. That's the second important reason. And a third important reason is they're going to be pounding on the tree in order to send a signal out to mates or to send a signal out to declare territory. So with all the head pounding they're doing, why don't they get concussions? For a long time, people thought it was because there must be some kind of shock absorbing material the way their head was set up. They have a very long tongue, and the way it wraps around their brain, they thought, well, maybe that works as the shock absorber. Or maybe there's something about the bones themselves that are more shock absorbing. But a group of scientists decided to study this more closely by being able to take close-up photos of the birds when they were pounding into the trees. And what they found is that it's nothing to do with shock absorbing at all. Dr. Van Wassenberg explains it this way. Think about a hammer. And when you're using a hammer to pound into something, you want all the energy that you're using to go into the object that you're hitting. If your hammer has some kind of a spring or a shock absorber of some kind, that means the energy doesn't get transferred. And that's not very efficient. So why would the woodpecker want to somehow stop the energy from being um, used by absorbing it in some way? It's not that there are bones that absorb the shock. It's nothing to do with the tongue. What they found is that it has to do with the fact that woodpeckers have very small brains. So relatively speaking, the amount of energy that's getting moved when they're pounding in the trees is not enough to cause damage to their brains the way an animal like a human with a really big brain would have a problem. It makes you think about that whole being bird-brained thing a little bit differently, doesn't it? Well, at least if you're a woodpecker. If you want to hear a little bit more about this research, I've listed an article that you can go to, and embedded in the article is a video clip from Dr. Van Wastenberg himself talking about this whole project he was doing. There's some really cool research that's going on right now, and I was glad I was able to share this with you. So go outside, listen for the woodpeckers, watch the woodpeckers, and understand there's no shock-absorbing stuff going on at all. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.